Hi everybody, Sean Hayes here with Sean America Audio and Visual, here with our second part of our lesson on how to measure a pinhole with your computer. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at how this is done. Okay, so during this I'm going to assume you already know how to use your scanner software, but I am going to give you a few helpful hints on how to get a better scan so that you can get a more accurate measurement. First thing I want you to look at here is I've got an example of what you're not looking for when you scan this. If you can see how the light right here is shining outward, it's, it's too bright. Let me zoom that in for us. Okay, I've zoomed in for us and you can see how the light is spreading out from that and it'd be almost impossible to see the image correctly. This is easily correctable. All you're going to want to do is place a small piece of paper between the pinhole and your flashlight. So let's do that and see how it's going to look. Okay, perfect. Here's a preview of what our scan's going to look like. Now a couple of things that are important here is your scanning software probably has some sort of color mode setting. Go ahead and set that to grayscale. That's going to help us out in the end here. And then your output resolution, whatever the highest you have available, go ahead and select that. In my case it's 1200. You may have higher than that and if you do go ahead and select that. Okay. Okay. Well, we're happy with that. So we're going to go ahead and scan that now. Okay. So I've got our scan pinhole right now and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and save this from our favorite photo editing software to wherever you'd like. Now when you go to save this something important is make sure to save it as a bitmap file or a .bmp. That's important. I'm just going to save this as pinhole for our purposes. We'll just save that. Okay, great. Let's go ahead and close out of this software and we'll take a look at what you need now. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find your file. I've brought it up for us to look at here. Now what you want to do is go ahead and right click on that and come down to the properties. This is important. And go to the summary tab and you'll see a whole lot of information here. Now what's important is this horizontal and vertical resolution. They should be the same. This number 1199 dpi or dots per inch is a very important number for the use of our measurement. So go ahead and either write that down or just uh, keep that in mind for a little bit later. So go ahead and close out of that. Now we're going to bring up a neat piece of software called Scion Image. This is available on my website for download and it's fast and easy to download and install and um, it does a lot of neat things for scientific purposes but for our purposes we're going to use it to measure our pinhole. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go here to file, go to open and find your file. In my case it's saved onto the desktop Okay, whoo, that's very large. Let's go ahead and scale that back so we can actually look at it. Okay. Now another very important tool in this software is this little hand tool. It's going to let you move your image around so that you can get the part of the image you want to measure in front of you. Okay. So now that you've got that, you need to set it up. So go ahead and go to this Analyze, and go to Options, and it's going to show you some options about how you can measure it. The only thing you want to check mark in is this perimeter slash length. And so take the check marks out of all the others. The default values in this should be max measurements 256, field width 9, uh, both of those don't actually matter for our purposes, but what does matter is digits right of the decimal point f is 4. That is important for us. Let's go ahead and hit OK once you've set that up. 
Now you have to calibrate it so that it makes an accurate measurement. This is simple to do. Again, go to Analyze, come down to where it says Set Scale now. Okay. Now you know that the measured distance in pixels is... Okay. So the... Okay. So now we need to set this so that it makes an accurate measurement. So again, go to Analyze, come down to Set Scale now. Okay, the very first thing you're going to want to do is tell it what units we're using. And we're using pixels per inch, so select inch. Now, your known distance in pixels was that number we looked at earlier, which is the 1,199. The known distance is 1 inch. And as you can see down here, it's already made your scale 1,199 pixels per inch. So go ahead and hit OK once you've done that. And you're almost set. Now the last thing you want to do is go to Analyze again and hit Show Results. And then we'll go ahead and bring that result window down to where we need it. Now this is the simple part right here. So we just make some simple measurements. So select this flashing line tool. If you click and hold on it, it's going to give you some other options, but we just need the straight line. And this image here is a little difficult to tell exactly where the edges of that hole are, so we're going to quick grab the magnification tool, and we're just going to zoom in a few times. You'll notice this image is a little blurry around the edge. In your favorite photo editing software, if you spend just a little bit of time playing with the brightness and contrast setting, you can clean this up quite considerably. But this is just for demonstration purposes. So again, grab your straight line tool and draw a line from one edge to the other. Try to best tell where you think that is. Okay, now all you need to do is again go to Analyze and select Measure and it's given us a measurement of 0.0384 inches. Now what I like to do is take several measurements in several different places along the pinhole and then what I like to do is to then average those measurements together to get a more accurate diameter. Okay, at this point you've got your measurements. All you need to do is place those into Pinhole Designer and it'll do the necessary calculations for you and you're ready to go out and take some pinhole pictures. Well, this is Sean Hayes from Sean America Audio and Visual signing out. Happy Pinhole. Bye.